What's up guys? Today we are headed out from Reno towards LA. I don't know where we're gonna end up in between, but we'll figure something out. First stop, breakfast. Hi guys, it's me. Um, just wanted to let you know I have launched a Patreon. Uh, I have a couple different tiers depending on the level of support you wanna give the channel. Uh, if you could go check that out, there's a link down in the description below. Uh, would really appreciate your support. Enjoy the video. Back home now editing these videos. Hopefully you're enjoying them. Uh, just wanted to give a thank you to everyone for watching these videos. I really appreciate all the support and comments and reaching out and everything that you're enjoying them. Uh, please be sure if you're enjoying it, hit that like button, that subscribe button. It really helps out the channel trying to grow this. Uh, and again, thank you guys for watching. Car is all clean, ready to hit the road towards Tahoe. Probably the Incline Village Supercharger. Uh, it's kind of on the northeast shore of Lake Tahoe. Then we'll head to Tahoe City, uh, kind of along the lake there. And that looks like a really fun road, so I'm not complaining. There's roots where I stand. Oh, I've been running from the law. Two rare things going on here. We've got a signature Model S, and then we have an e-tron DC fast charging on an Evgo station. Try to catch me howling at the Tahoe City Supercharger, here we are, 64%. Beautiful area. Time to head to Truckee, California, Donner Pass Road. We're charged up to 78%. I've been watching the Apple keynote for WWDC. Let's get going. California, we are at the uh, Donner Pass Road location. 73% charge, let's get plugged in. There we go. Next, we are headed to Rockland, California. And then probably to Roseville, I don't know. We'll probably hit quite a few of the ones in this area. Um, kind of headed towards the Bay Area. We'll see where we end up. Water's up to my chin. Won't stop fighting. We made it to the Rockland, California Supercharger. It's actually at a Tesla service center. Uh, next one we'll be heading to is the Galleria Boulevard. I'll just hit those two because they're close by. We're at 60%, it's a high usage. I adjusted my charge limit manually. This is a hopping service center, holy crap. California Supercharger. The next one we'll be going to is like a mile away, if that. Let's see what it says. Wow, it's going really slow for some reason. Anyway, let's get plugged in for a moment. It's a small eight stall install. Wow, this is an old uh, 120 kilowatt cabinet install. 
So we'll just add two or three kilowatt hours because uh, the next one is 0.7 miles away. This is the other Roseville, California supercharger. It is a 20 stall install. Uh, nothing too crazy here. There's some shops over there. There's a restaurant. Uh, next one we're heading to is Sacramento. That's gonna be a nice and quick stop as well. It seems like everywhere in California it's a quick stop. Then we'll probably be heading along this corridor here. Um, most likely, I'm not 100% sure. But yeah, probably down this way and then kind of around the valley. I might end up in like the San Jose area tonight. It's currently 2.48 p.m. Is the Sacramento Supercharger to at a Best Buy, Boot Barn, Bevmo, I don't even know what that is, maybe a liquor store. This is a 10 stall V2, nothing crazy here. It's going to charge for a little bit. 63% currently. Uh, I don't really know where I'm going to end up next, but I'll figure it out. Vacaville, California Supercharger, here we are. Uh, next one will be this one here, Fairfield. We're at 47%. This is a 12 stall, I believe, or no, 16 stall. So they've got half the stations over here. And then they've got the other half over there. Made it to the Fairfield, California Supercharger. This is the Travis Boulevard location. Uh, looks like the other one is at Holiday Lane. So let's get plugged in here. This is kind of an interesting install. There's uh, one lone stall all the way over there, but the rest of them are here. So they must have run out of parking spots or something, but let's get plugged in. Other Fairfield, California supercharger. I'm gonna walk over to In N Out Burger after I get plugged in here. It's right there. This is a 10 stall V2. Nothing special, but it's here. Actually, maybe it's a 12 stall. Yeah, it must be a 12 stall because I see six cabinets over there. Anyway, I'm gonna grab some In N Out. We are at Vallejo, California, 73%. I believe this is a 14 stall, something like that. So you've got all the superchargers here. Then you've got three charge points. Two of them are two hand, or one of them is two handle, the other one is a single handle, which is a little weird. And then you do have one supercharger stall over here, so. Not a bad install, it's out of Target, which is always nice, and this looks like a pretty freshly renovated Target, though it is in the back of the Target. Otherwise, uh, nothing too special about this install, but pretty nice. Next up, Novato, California Supercharger. We're about to cross that bridge, part of the bay. It is beautiful. Will you find me? Hope you find me. Sunrise on the sun. We are 
Matt Novato, California Supercharger 20 stall install. So all the signs are like this, or at least all the ones I've seen pulling in here. I am the only one here, which is kind of surprising. Yeah, all of these signs are vehicle charging preferred, which I am not a huge fan of that verbiage because that means anyone can park here, but it is on the back of the building, which makes it less likely to be iced. And then you've got two stalls over here. Looks like both are handicap accessible, which is a little interesting that they would put them over there, but it works. And then this is just down the center of this and then parking on both sides kind of nice because that way in theory you should be able to have two units that you can grab a cable from uh, yeah so either so any like this you could grab either one of these and be able to plug in your car so kind of nice in case one doesn't work so here are the cabinets all ten of them got the dedicated transformer over here And we've got some of the switch gear that goes to the actual units. I don't know why there's a chair here or one of those seat cushions, a little weird. But it looks like this is a fairly new station. Let's see the date codes on themselves. So typically there are date codes on these, maybe not on the newer ones. Yeah, I guess these newer ones don't have date codes, but here we are. We left the Novato Supercharger at 82%. We are headed to Corte Madera. We'll arrive there with 74% apparently. It is beautiful. Let's get on the 101. Made it to the Corte Madera Supercharger. This is actually a Tesla location. So they have a bunch of wall connectors there for their sales fleet cars. And then this is a uh, urban supercharger. So let's get plugged in here. Busy highway, but you can feel the ocean breeze. There's actually three EVGO units down there for non-Teslas. So overall, pretty nice location. Time to cross into San Francisco and cross the Golden Gate Bridge. a Subaru dealership and a Toyota dealership needed to store some cars. So they parked them in this parking ramp, which is the same parking ramp as the superchargers in Daly City, California. Just a few cars being stored here, uh, but this is a 40 stall v, or, uh, urban supercharger and the temperature has very much dropped outside. It's only 59 degrees out, but let's get plugged in here. Uh, there's a ton of stalls. They're almost all the way around the outside of this uh, upper level parking ramp. Too bad it's fairly foggy or you'd be able to see quite a bit from up here. You can see some of the cars being stored. 
and then the superchargers all around the perimeter. So as is fairly typical for parking garage installs, uh, there all the cabinets are over here, and then the actual wiring is running this conduit type stuff, uh, rather than in the concrete like they are a lot of places. So we've got the 10 cabinets here that serve the uh, 40 stalls. At full tilt, this station can actually pull about 2.8 megawatt hours because uh, there's actually another set of 10 supercharger cabinets that I didn't picture it looks exactly the same. Uh, so there are 20 cabinets uh, and each stall is a max of 72 kilowatts. Made it to the South San Francisco supercharger near SFO airport. We're at 69%. This is another urban supercharger. So you've got four stalls over here, two destination chargers there, and then the rest over there. Pretty nice little spot. Bridgepoint Parkway Supercharger. It's at a Target. It's a 150 kilowatt station. Nothing too crazy. This is the Park Place location. We're at 79%. All plugged in here. Book day hotel for the night. We are headed to San uh, Carlos. One more supercharger for the night. Uh, probably a few more even, depending on how I feel. Um, this one is only four miles away, so it should be a pretty easy little thing. San Carlos Supercharger 79%. This is a 19 stall uh, urban supercharger. So, chargers all along there. One at the end. They've kind of placed the cabinets uh, along with the units or with the pedestals themselves rather than in one central location, which is kind of cool. There's a Best Buy, PetSmart, Home Goods, and a TJ Maxx. So, decent location. We are at the Menlo Park Supercharger. This is a pretty interesting install. It looks actually pretty much brand new. I'll have to check plug share and see when it went online. But 10 stall, got more down here. It looks like the station install isn't actually complete. Because you can see the caps here for where the cabinets will go. Yeah, I don't think these ones are likely online. Wells Fargo there, little shopping center. Yeah, they've actually got conduit and stuff over here. So it looks like they still need to put in some cabinets. And then it should be good to go. They've got the forklift and stuff over there. Palo Alto Stanford Shopping Center. This is a 20 stall urban supercharger. So we've got 10 over here, I believe. I didn't count. And now we've got the rest uh, all the way down there. You can see the Tesla in the distance there. And directly below this, actually on the first floor, uh, is the Electrify America station here, which is kind of cool to see those in the same location. So as usual, there's the conduit piping 
and here's the cabinets. So as usual for a 20 stall urban install, there are 10 cabinets. The Electrify America station I was talking about and it's directly underneath the urban superchargers. Charger going to get plugged in 83%. This location's a little sketch looking at night, but should be fine. Just gonna be here for a few minutes and we'll head to Mountain View. That'll be the last one for tonight. California, it only makes sense that a supercharger would be located in the parking lot of the Computer History Museum. Let's get plugged in, we're at 83%. There's that. Made it to the hotel. I'll kind of show you guys that, but tomorrow we're gonna head up to the Fremont factory. Uh, just drive by, charge there, uh, nothing too crazy. Uh, and then we're gonna continue south. I might stop at my friend's shop in Morgan Hill. Uh, and then we're just gonna head towards LA. I don't know if I'm gonna stop before LA and stay somewhere there, uh, or if I'm gonna go all the way into LA and then stay in the LA area. Um, it's kind of, could kind of go either way. I know I'm gonna stop at at least the Harris Ranch and the uh, Tejan Ranch. Superchargers, those are like the really grand ones with the um, amenities and stuff. So definitely going to stop there um, but otherwise thank you guys for watching hopefully you enjoyed if you did hit that like button down below hit the subscribe button so you can continue to see the rest of the series uh, as well as any future videos thank you guys as always so I just got to my hotel and someone's stuck in the elevator yep. well here we have the hotel room a little small but not bad uh, the AC was off when I got in here, which is kind of annoying. So it's 80 degrees in here. But it's acceptable. <laughs>